feel? <laughs> really, really good. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, once again, a big round of applause for Amanda here today who is representing and chosen to represent your community. Yes. You don't want to be landing their face first in the snow with the torch. No, that would not be a good arrival. And tell us, how were you chosen for this? Come over here, you're, you're worrying me. Those are waterproof, but I'm not sure they're flameproof. <laughs> How were you chosen? Explain to us how you got the call and what was your, your feeling? Uh, well, I got an email saying that that I was chosen and that's how I knew. <laughs> okay, well that's great. That means we're going to get along just fine. And uh, we're going to start with a pretty well-known Newfoundland song that you probably know the words to, but I'm going to get Fergus to give you the chorus just in case, okay? And we told all these people with the Olympic flame that people here in St. Anthony, especially the young ones, Sing really loud and big and clear. I've seen so much red. Oh, go Canada, go. Congratulations, St. Anthony. Hey. How's everyone today? Hey. Is that not amazing? Oh. Yeah. That's the reason why. And you guys are the reason why Coca-Cola has done this. This is our seventh time being a partner with the Torch Relay. And for us, it's all about seeing everybody smiling, happy faces, and such a vision of positivity. It's phenomenal. We're so excited. Today we had 21 youth, so 21 teenagers run for Coca-Cola today. 20 of them were in a team, which some of you may have seen, and they were all part of a program called Sogo Active, which is about getting out and getting active. And they did something very cool, because we asked Canadians to be more active or more green, and it turned out that this group, who's already super active, decided they were going to do something different. Instead of just doing their regular active daily lives, they were going to make a difference in their community by doing community cleaning. So they decided to do some environmental stuff too, which we thought was amazing. So I'd love to give a round of applause for the Community Youth Network. Yeah. And then we also had to run for us today somebody else from Sogo Active, and her name is Kylie Beals. And she is a youth leader, super, super uber athlete, and she was chosen as because she is a leader and is a great representative within her community. And I just hope for all you guys out there that you um, take note of that and hope to be leaders within your community from an active and green standpoint and help make Canada an even better country than it already is. So thank you so much for having us today and take care. Bye. Hi, I'm Daniel Windler, and I did the run in St. Anthony, and I'd like to say good luck to my grandma, Mary Hope Wiseman, who will be doing it in Cornerbrook in two days. Good luck, Grandma. from the local area here? Is this uh, no, I'm from the Labrador Straits. Labrador Straits? And so you're traveling quite a bit with the, with the event? Yes. I mostly came over last night at the fair, and then we stayed at my uncle's house, and then we came to the event. Excellent. And uh, you took part in some activities before the relay, did you? Yeah. We, um, they contacted me, and we had a bunch of uh, paperwork that we had to fill out. And then uh, when I go home, they want me to go around to school. And actually, one of my friends has been selected to Right. So we're going to do some stuff to get our homework to go get back to like going around to schools and different communities and different places. Excellent. So uh, you've got a little ways to go with the torch? Yeah. Great. And you're enjoying it, obviously? Oh, yes. It's a wonderful and, and, and you've made lots of friends and acquaintances along the way? Yeah, I'm from Shulco West, but I'm a coordinator for the Community Youth Network in Plum Point. Okay. And uh, so what what program allowed these kids to become part of this uh, this torch relay? Uh, the program that allowed them to become part of torch relay, I guess it was a, a combination of things because, well, first off, they had to be a member of the Community Youth Network. That's an organization within our own, you know, our own community. And uh, then they had to become members of the Sogo Active team because we signed up to be a Sogo Active host. So they had to be members of the Sogo Active team. 
and then uh, from there, we, of course, we have more than 17 people in our community youth network, so we kind of got them to apply to be a torchbearer, and they had to tell us why they wanted to be a torchbearer. Right. So they write a, a, some sort of information about yes. themselves and yes. why it would be important to them. Yes. And how, how do they defray the cost? Is there a cost involved for them? There is no cost involved. Okay, so. Everything at the Community Youth Network is free of charge. Right. And there's no char there's no cost. And of course, well, everything, their uniforms and everything was provided. So there was no charge to them at all today, actually nothing. Excellent. And each of these uh, members of the team participated by carrying the torch for a certain part of the relay? Yes. Okay. And how, how, how much more activity are they going to have as part of this? Is this the end of the road for them? Or? Well, uh, we did a few things prior to. We got together on a number of occasions and, you know, just did, we did a community cleanup and then we got together, we did a, a community barbecue and stuff like that. Oh, well, actually, it, was a, it wasn't barbecue because of the time of year, but it was a, you know, a community get-together we had with our team. And uh, when we when it's all over now, we plan to get together again and, you know, celebrate what we've done here today. Now, I understand some of the members are going to be doing some outreach work to schools to tell them about the experience? Well, we, all of our members are from the same school. Right. So, uh, they have been recognized at their school. They have... Uh, you know, we're all recognized and, and all stood up at a uh, Remembrance Day ceremony uh, on rem uh, the day before Remembrance Day. And uh, hopefully we'll go back to the school and uh, you know, do some things there. Scott, how you doing? We have a small token of appreciation on behalf of the entire Torch Relays team and the Van Ock Organizing Committee um, to His Worship Mayor Sims that you can keep here in your community. a great crowd, beautiful setting. Hi, my name is Michael Malone. I'm here from RBC. And thank you so much for welcoming all of us and the flame to your community. You know, there are many organizations throughout Canada that also make a difference, which is why we're so happy to announce today that we're making a $500 donation to the Boys and Girls Club of St. Anthony. Woo! 